In this video, we'll discuss how to test the ignition system on a Lanair MX Series waste oil heater. We'll cover troubleshooting the spark of the igniter transformer, as well as common issues with the burner electrode. If your heating unit will power up and spray fuel from the nozzle, but won't establish a flame, this video should help. It's important to follow safety guidelines when working on mechanical, plumbing, and electrical equipment. Only allow qualified technicians to work on your system and ensure that the appropriate personal protective equipment and safe practices are used throughout the work. For this video, you will need the following tools and equipment. A face shield or safety goggles should be worn at all times when working closely with a unit that is in operation. You will also need insulated gloves to protect against both heat and electrical shock, a flathead screwdriver with an insulated handle, an inspection mirror, a one half inch wrench, and a Phillips head screwdriver. An important step in preparing to test the ignition system of a Lanair heater is to remove the compressed air supply to the burner. This will prevent any fuel from being sprayed into the chamber while testing. Be sure to leave the compressed air supply disconnected from the burner throughout the testing process. To remove the compressed air supply from the burner, first set the secondary air pressure regulator to zero PSI. Then, use the half inch wrench to remove the air line from the burner. In order to test the burner ignition system, a simulated flame signal must be present on the primary control's flame sensor circuit. To do this, disconnect the flame sensor wires from the primary control and use terminal connectors and an alligator clip or a short piece of wire to bridge the connection during the burner's startup sequence. Leave the flame sensor terminals unbridged until you are ready to begin the startup sequence. Establish a call for heat to the unit by setting the thermostat to its maximum temperature setting. If the red light on the burner's primary control is indicating that the unit is locked out, you will need to press the reset button on the top of the primary control to reset the burner. The unit should now attempt to start operating. A few seconds after the burner begins its startup sequence, bridge the flame sensor terminals to simulate to the primary control that a flame has been established. The unit should now continue to operate until the bridge or the call for heat is removed. Never bridge the flame sensor terminals for any purpose other than service and testing, as critical safety features for normal operation are defeated when the burner is in this condition. Never leave the unit unattended, even during service, while the flame sensor terminals are bridged. With the burner now running in ignition test mode, use a gloved hand to open the viewport on the furnace cabinet. Observe the interior of the combustion chamber. No fuel should be spraying from the burner. Use a flashlight to confirm if necessary. If fuel is entering the combustion chamber, discontinue testing and contact Lanair for technical assistance. Insert the inspection mirror into the viewport and observe the electrode tips near the nozzle of the burner. A strong, consistent, blue-white spark should be visible at the electrode. The spark should look like a small flame blowing into the combustion chamber. If the spark appears to be correct, but the unit will still not establish a flame when returned to normal operation, the ignition system is not likely to be the cause of the issue, and additional troubleshooting should be conducted. Consult the installation and operation manual for your model. If spark is arcing to the nozzle or spinner head, adjust the burner until the spark is contained to the electrode. If the spark is present but not blowing into the combustion chamber, move on to troubleshooting the burner motor. If the spark is inconsistent or not present, the electrode or transformer could be defective and may need replacement. To isolate the issue, move on to testing the ignition transformer inside the burner. Take extra caution during the next few steps, as high voltage electricity will be present. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, remove the large Phillips head screw securing the burner cover closed. To open the burner lid, Pull it towards you along the slotted hinge. Lift the lid to a 90 degree angle, then let it slide downward to remain fixed in the open position. Using the insulated gloves and insulated screwdriver, contact the metal tip of the screwdriver to one of the transformer terminal posts and begin to slide the screwdriver tip towards the other terminal post. Take care not to contact the screwdriver to anything other than the transformer terminal posts. When the gap between the screwdriver tip and the second terminal post reaches approximately one half an inch, a strong, consistent, blue-white spark should be visible arcing between the metal surfaces. If the spark appears to be correct at the igniter transformer, but the spark at the electrode did not appear to be correct in an earlier step, ensure that the transformer terminal posts make contact with the electrode tines when the burner is in the closed position. If the terminal posts do not make contact with the electrode, turn the power off to the unit and adjust the posts and electrode tines to the proper position. If the transformer is functioning correctly and the terminal posts make contact with the electrode tines when the burner lid is in the closed position, but the spark is still not correct, the electrode is defective and should be replaced. If the spark at both the transformer and electrode appears to be correct, but the unit will still not establish a flame when returned to normal operation, the ignition system is not likely to be the cause of the issue. 
contact Lanair Technical Support to continue troubleshooting. If the spark at the transformer is weak, inconsistent, or not present, the ignition transformer is defective and should be replaced. Turn the power off to the unit and contact Lanair by phone or at lanair.com for assistance. Replace any defective parts and perform this test again. When the ignition system is working properly throughout this test, restore the unit's installation, settings, and safety features to their operational conditions and reattempt to operate the unit. If the ignition system is working properly, but the unit is still not functioning correctly when returned to normal operation, continue troubleshooting by referring to the product manual or call Lanair Technical Support for further assistance. We hope this video was helpful in servicing your Lanair waste oil heater and getting you back to enjoying America's best value in heating.